All smartphone manufacturers appear to cut the corners of their displays and make them look bezel-less. There is not much practical use of that, but those infinity displays just look great. The Chinese phone maker Doogie aims to deliver bezel-less smartphone experience for just about 170 bucks. My name is Linus, stay tuned to find out if the Doogie Mix is worth the money. Just before we start, this phone costs around 170 bucks. I will leave all the links including the camera samples down below. The phone ships in quite a nice box and inside of it you can find all the usual stuff. Some extras include a case to protect the phone and a screen protector. The design is the key selling point of the Doogie Mix, but the main question is if the device is truly bezel-less. Well, there are tiny bezels along with the black bars, but they are cut to the minimum. Even though I would not call the Doogie Mix a truly bezel-less phone, it is still one of the best looking budget devices you can buy. A Samsung made 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display is just gorgeous to look at, as it is punchy and vibrant. However, I found the colors to be slightly oversaturated for my taste. The sunlight legibility is not the best, but it is quite decent. The airpiece is on the top, but the 5 megapixels front firing camera is implemented on the bottom, so you would probably need to take selfies holding the phone upside down. There are customizable on screen navigation keys, but you can also use a capacitive home key to navigate through the user interface, and I found it to be really useful. The fingerprint scanner is not the fastest I've seen, but it gets the job done to unlock the phone straight from the standby mode. The overall build quality is good and the phone sits nicely in the hand. However, I found that the buttons a little bit rattle. The Doogie Mix is not all about the looks as it is plenty powerful for the price. The device ships with an octa-core Helio P25 chip, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage. You can also opt in for a slightly more expensive model that has 6GB of RAM. The gaming performance is just great. I was able to run all the 3D games on the highest graphics settings without any issues, which is kind of impressive given the price of the phone. The device gets a little bit warm on the upper portion, but that doesn't impair the performance. The Doogie Mix ships with the Android 7.0 out of the box, but we have a proprietary skin on top of it that brings a little bit different look and it has quite a few extra features. Just to name a few, you can read the latest news if you swipe to the left, choose from quite a few different themes or wallpapers, or use the floating gesture that I usually find annoying as it gets in my way. You can also choose from a variety of gesture controls that work pretty well or use the one-hand operation mode. What is the most important for me on any phone is the speed and fluidity. I found the Doogie Mix to be quite fast, but there is some occasional stutter if you simply swipe through the menus back and forth. It just seems that some of the animations have some skipped frames. Well, this is not a deal breaker, but I believe we will see a software update quite soon since my device runs on an early software build. When it comes to optics, the Doogie Mix has quite an interesting dual camera setup that consists of one 16 megapixel shooter and another 8 megapixel sensor. The camera app takes pictures extremely fast. There are some shooting modes to make the best out of that dual camera setup, like blur mode, that takes pictures with that bokeh effect. The pictures taken in this mode look quite okay, but they are far from the flagship grade quality. The daylight image quality is disappointing for a $170 phone. I took most of the pictures under perfect lighting conditions, but the images lack detail, sharpness, the colors are usually washed out, and the dynamic range adjustment is kind of poor. Sure, you will be able to take some decent photos, but you will usually see these shortcomings. The low light camera performance is just bad, there is plenty of noise and low amount of detail. 
can also utilize the secondary sensor to take pictures with up to four times lossless zoom. At least this is what Doogie claims. Sure, the results are better than using just digital zoom, but still, there is plenty of noise and the images lack detail. We can also take black and white pictures, which may look okay, but I'm not a huge fan of black and white photography anyway. The selfie image quality is just mediocre. Sure, they are usable for social media, but what bothers me the most is the red tint in most of the shots. I'm shooting a video with a Doogie Mix in 1080p resolution and this is handle footage and as you may hear, it's a very windy day, also cloudy day. The Doogie Mix can shoot videos in 4K resolution, but I think this is just an upscale 1080p footage. There is a decent amount of detail, but in general, the videos don't look good because there is a lot of choppiness and shakiness and the electronic image stabilization feature does not help at all. The 1080p videos does not look as choppy as 4K, but I would rate the quality as average. What disappoints me the most is the lack of continuous autofocus feature and the footage could look a lot sharper. Okay, continuous autofocus feature does not seem to be working fine because I just needed to tap on the display again. So I'm testing out the front firing camera of the Doogie Mix phone. And the very first shortcoming I noticed is that the camera can shoot at the maximum resolution of just 480p, which is really disappointing. The selfie video looks just horrible since it's only in 480p, at least this is what the stock camera app allows. Also the sound is being recorded only to the left channel, which is again really disappointing. The Doogie implemented a loudspeaker on the bottom and the quality of it is just average to say the least. Same can be said about the quality of sound via the headset jack. The Doogie Mix has a hybrid dual SIM card tray that can take either two SIMs or one SIM and the micro SD card. Also, the phone has most of the needed sensors like gyroscope, proximity, and so on. When it comes to connectivity, the Wi-Fi speed and range are good and the GPS is accurate. The signal reception is good and the call quality is decent. The phone has a 3380mAh battery that will let you use the phone for the entire day but not more, at least this is my experience. I can't tell you the exact screen on time due to a software bug in the settings menu but I would say that the phone will get you about 5 hours of SOT. Finally, it takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge the phone with a supplied fast charger. So there we have it, the Doogie Mix. The phone indeed offers quite a lot of value for the price, but as usual to all cheap phones, it has a few shortcomings to consider. The phone is definitely a looker, the gaming performance is great, and the display is awesome, and the battery life is decent. However, I was not impressed by the overall camera performance, the user interface is not as smooth as it should be, the loudspeaker quality is mediocre, and finally, I will let you to decide if the phone is truly bezel-less. In conclusion, the Doogie Mix is definitely an exceptional budget phone mainly because of its nearly bezel-less display, but hopefully we'll see a few software improvements that will unleash a full potential of the phone's hardware. It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions, please drop me a comment down below and also if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and finally, if you want to get all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews, please visit gizmochina.com. See you soon.